In both France and South Africa, it has now been made into a wide range of styles and it rivals varieties like Chardonnay, Riesling and even Palomino for their versatility. It's made into sparkling wine, dry styles of wine, ultra neutral, plain, really, really easy drinking styles of white. Also to oxidatively handled, rich, nutty, barrel fermented wines as well. It's also made into a bunch of sweet wines, leveling from you know, slightly sweet, off dry styles to very, very betritized, rich, sweeter styles. As a variety, it's as chameleonic as it's gets and in a wide array of aspects the potential for the wines is massive. Great Clermont de Loire has crackling acidity, great fruit core and that punches above its weight in quality like champagne but without the price tag. Dry styles of Stellenbosch can actually be mistaken for quality burgundy and the great off dry styles of Sauvignon can actually have you thinking who even needs Riesling? But I also want it noted that that's a joke, we all need Riesling, Riesling is the best. Besides Shannon of course. In a blind tasting context with all of these globe